Kevin, we're here in Lyon for round three of the Rolex FBI World Cup. First impressions? It's a fantastic show, fantastic. Um, I was there for the first edition when it was a national show here, maybe 15 years ago. And what the cool build with this show, it's amazing, amazing. And I'm so happy because they will organize in uh, uh, 2014 the final World Cup Rolex and it's really fantastic for France to organize the same year two big events, final World Cup and uh, um, equestrian, World Equestrian Games. Yes, that's going to be some, some year for, for France and equestrian sport. Um, what horses have you brought here this weekend? I brought Silvana, who jumped already the two uh, first uh, edition of the Rolex. 2012, uh, Austin and Helsinki, so Sylvana is there, and then Rever de Hurtebiz, the horse was riding Malin Bayard Johnson before, and I jumped Cheyenne, a new nine years old mare, I'm not jumping since so long, and she will jump the Masters uh, this evening. Which one do you think will, sorry, which one will you ride for the World Cup? Sylvana. Uh, in good form? Yeah, she's fresh and she had um, a bit break after the um, Olympics in London and then for sure uh, London was difficult for her but she's coming in the part of the season she really likes, she loves indoors and I, I am each time uh, over the last four years I was jumping final World Cup with her and really it's uh, my first goal for the next six months it's to first to qualify and then to jump with Silvana the final World Cup Rolex. Okay. You've been top of the league the last two years of the Rolex FBI World Cup. How difficult is this, this series to compete in? And the thing is, uh, it's difficult to get in this show, already to participate. When we are in the top of the uh, world ranking, it's okay. But for the other ones, it's difficult. And most of the riders now start already in Oslo and Helsinki to fight to be qualified for the final because they knew how how it is difficult to, to get it. So I'm like the other ones, I'm fighting and I try to fight already in Oslo and Helsinki. I get some points and I will, uh, I will try to go do already a good Grand Prix tomorrow. It's good to be uh, in the first round of the Rolex World Cup to have already some points, not to fight until the end and to have a horse who is a little bit tired. If I have enough points, I really want to continue the uh, Rolex World Cup tour. Uh, but not maybe with Silvana to give a little bit rest before the final. So I tried to have some good points already uh, in the first rounds. You had four faults in Oslo, but you made the jump off in Helsinki. Yeah, I was ninth in Oslo because fast uh, with one down, and I was sixth in uh, in Helsinki. So at the moment I'm seventh with 19 points, or so nearly the half of what we need normally to be qualified. Um, Frank Rothenberger, he's designing the course here. You've jumped a few of them already. What, what are the tracks like? Uh, Frank is really one of the best uh, course designers since a long time. He did a super big tour today uh, on Saturday here in Lyon. It was just six clears on the jump off because really tight uh, time allowed. Um, fantastic jump off winning by uh, Christian Alman. It's already super spot here and I'm sure tomorrow like it's all the best riders of the world who are here. I'm, I think he will build a really, really difficult Grand Prix. You're, you're not wrong, are you? We've got Ludger Beerbaum, Meredith, Rodrigo, everybody's here. Yeah, 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 everybody's here. And it's why it makes Lyon a fantastic show. And uh, in Oslo and Helsinki, we had some good riders, but a few of them uh, really um, didn't want to go there. So it's the first time, the first indoor show of this season that everybody is here at the same show. And they've got their top horses, haven't they? Exactly. That's the most important, all the best uh, combination horse and rider are here in Lyon. So. Thank you very much for your time and good luck tomorrow.